Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to this latest edition of San Ana Wind Potential. We're going to take a look at the past event, October 10th and 11th, and look forward to what the weather has in store for the next seven days, including more San Ana wind and very warm temperatures. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist with National Weather Service. All right, some highlights up front for you. Onshore flow, that means winds coming from the west or from the ocean through Friday, and then that shifts abruptly to the north into Saturday, so Friday night and Saturday. That'll be the high deserts and the lower deserts, Coachella Valley, that mainly feel the impact of these winds and also down in the Borrego Springs of the San Diego Deserts and Interstate 8 corridor. We are looking at an extended period of very warm conditions and also Santa Ana winds coming up. That'll begin on Sunday, run into Monday. The winds will weaken for Tuesday, Wednesday. And then another Santa Ana is possible for Thursday, Friday of next week. We basically are looking at rather warm or above average temperatures and dry conditions through October. What happened in our last recent event? It was a moderate Santa Ana wind. We had gusts 60 to 70 up by the Cajon Pass. That is Interstate 15 corridor. We also had uh, some wind gusts of 45 to 55 in the San Diego mountains. And that occurred mainly on Thursday and Friday, October 10th and 11th. Humidity was very low uh, during that event where values got into the single digits. Now we did have some wildfires and some of those wildfires resulted in extensive damage. Two of those wildfires are listed here. We had a couple small fires in San Diego County. Here are some common questions and answers. I'll let you look over these uh, at your leisure. But we define what a Santa Ana wind is, what causes it. We also talk about what the Santa Ana Wildfire Threat Index is, which is issued by the U.S. Forest Service. We talk about what is worse, a red flag warning or watch, and why. And then a lot of times we talk about wind-prone areas, and you may or may not be familiar with those areas, but we'll list at the bottom here some of those wind-prone areas. All right, what is a Santa Ana wind, and when do we expect it? So Santa Ana wind conditions are expected to set up on Sunday. And depicted here is Monday as a large storm system moves across the northern Great Basin and into the northern plains. That's the key. Behind that is the cold air, and that's the high pressure that sets up the offshore flow. In this particular setup, we also have a large dome of high pressure building over the west coast, which brings the potential for very warm temperatures Monday, Tuesday, and really into Wednesday of next week. A repeat later in the week? Well, longer range forecasts and weather models do a fairly good job on Santa Ana conditions when it's a large storm. We see another storm passing well to our north into the northern plains and Great Lakes region. Behind that, a little bigger, stronger high pressure possibly sets in later next week. And that sets the stage for the offshore flow or the Santa Ana wind. All right, our summer monsoon was dry, so we're looking at very dry fuel conditions. So we're going to continue to talk about the potential for dangerous fire conditions because those fuel moistures are very low and they weren't helped out much because of the monsoon bearing weak or below average rainfall. Let's get into the weeds of the forecast. So desert winds expected right into Friday, and again, those winds will shift from the west northwest to the north as a frontal system moves through and by to our east so the main impact of those winds look to be the high deserts and the low deserts as shown here you can see shaded in the blue those areas will be uh, seeing wind gust potential peak winds of 40 to 50 miles per hour also impacted is the grapevine to the north along interstate 5. The winds on Sunday turn to the classic Santa Ana, the northeast wind direction coming from the northeast, blowing across the desert towards the ocean. Um, and it's generally expected to be a weak wind, but we are expected to see wind gusts 
of 25 to 35 miles per hour with the windiest conditions such as the Cajon Pass getting up around 40 miles per hour as shown here in the deeper blue shaded. We also see dry air start to filter in on Sunday. Humidities get widespread in the teens for the very exception of the media coast where that stubborn marine layer will be lingering around and slowly eroding. But overall inland areas get down well into the low teens which is dry air. Now the wind also occurs on Monday. We think the strongest winds will be in Riverside and San Diego County, but by no means are they strong, but we are expecting wind gusts again, 25 to 35 with peak wind gusts in that deeper blue shaded of around 40 miles per hour. And some of our wind prone areas up by Fontana in the Inland Empire and the Cajon Pass on I-15 also still blowing with wind gusts 35 to 40 miles per hour. Do note that some of that wind makes it all the way down to I-5 corridor in Orange County as well, but it's not strong, but nonetheless, it'll bring in the dry air. Speaking of dry air, the humidity will be even lower on Monday as temperatures rise as well. So we expect humidities getting down to the single digits in the deserts, around 10% in the Inland Empire, that's low and close to 10% in the inland valleys of San Diego County. So all the way to the coast, humidity is getting down into the 20%, which is still dry air. Now on Monday, we also see a significant warm up with temperatures. We're gonna see temperatures inland getting well into the 90s, uh, and that includes the I-5 corridor of Orange County, the I-15 corridor of San Diego and Riverside County. So well into the 90s, notice that even hotter than the desert areas, and that is typical in Santa Ana winds. Well into the 80s, all the way to the coast. Now the warm air sticks around and actually gets a little bit hotter inland on Tuesday, while we see a slight, very slight cooling on the immediate coast on Tuesday. We see conditions that are very warm across the deserts, mid to upper 90s, and we see recovering back into the 80s for the high deserts. Warm weather really lick, uh, sticks around until Wednesday. Now, also on Tuesday, just because the winds are lighter, we still see very dry air. So lighter winds is the message on Tuesday, but the air remains very dry, in some cases just as dry, because the sea breeze is very weak and we are moisture starved following the Santa Ana wind on Sunday, Monday. All right, here is a recap of all the conditions expected. The bottom line is elevated fire potential because of the Santa Ana winds, overall a weak Santa Ana wind. And that is primarily on Sunday, Monday. Uh, the air becomes much drier Sunday and lingers into Monday. Very warm weather continues um, on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. I think the warmest day on the coast will be Monday, or the immediate coast. But most areas, the warmest day will be Tuesday and Wednesday, including the deserts and the inland valleys. We're looking at another Santa Ana wind potential for next Thursday, Friday. So we'll give an update on this next week. Uh, the wind... Uh, in general, will be on the weak side, but the wind prone areas that we talked about 35 to 50 miles per hour for the peak wind gusts, most areas 10 to 20 miles per hour. Humidity values look to be in the teens and uh, very poor recovery Sunday night. Very warm days Monday through Friday and mild to some, some cases cool nights, but generally mild nights through next week, but very warm days. All right, thanks for tuning into this latest video briefing. Check out on our web page uh, all the current weather conditions so you can watch the humidity drop out and the wind speeds pick up on Sunday uh, into Monday. And you can watch the temperatures soar up into the 90s next week. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at NWS San Diego. And currently there's no red flag warning in effect and no fire weather watch in effect. But if one is issued, those are the definitions listed across the top. Stay safe, everyone, in this dry Santa Ana fall conditions.